bills were piling up. I watched the bank drive our car away. We lost our home. Terry sunk into a deep depression. And the only way that he could cope was to leave. So I was left, single mom of two disabled children at very young ages. I loved Heather and Logan so much, and I would do anything that I could think of to help their lives be better. That love helped me find the doctors to perform those 50 surgeries between Heather and Logan. Love helped me find government programs that helped pay the medical bills and helped eventually with some income to help assist me as a single poor single mom of two disabled kids. And later, they helped pay for an education for Heather and Logan. Heather has a degree in psychology from the University of Utah, and Logan has a degree in graphic design. Then later, they helped pay for them to live independently. They both live in their own apartments now, 10 minutes from my house. I am so grateful for everything that I've been able to find to help Heather and Logan. Heather's a writer, as you heard. Logan's an artist. These things bring happiness and joy into their life. That all made me so happy, but there was one thing I couldn't do for them. After 33 years, I couldn't give them answers. I couldn't tell them why. I couldn't tell them why they suffered so much. And that was really hard. I don't think I realized how hard it was. It was the love of scientists for their research, for finding answers, for helping people that led them to sequence our entire genome in 2009. It took a lot longer than a few weeks back then. We weren't expecting any answers. I will never forget when the scientists told us that they found the gene that causes Miller syndrome. My eyes immediately filled with tears, tears of joy. I had no idea what a relief it would be. They didn't stop there. They went on to tell us they found the gene that causes Heather and Logan's lung disease. It's a separate recessive gene that causes another recessive disease called primary ciliary dyskinesia, PCD. Wow, we were blown away. We now knew the cause of both of their diseases, and we had a name for their lung disease. This made such a difference for me. There was a huge void that was finally filled and this void I didn't even realize was there. And I finally felt peace. I'm so grateful for scientists, for donors, for grants, for people that write grants to get funding for the important scientific work that they do that changes lives. And I'm so grateful for all of you for the important work that you're doing. You are changing lives. Thank you.